So we're looking at 100 yard target. That's a 150 yard target. The target fell down. And that's a 200 yard target. This is the day channel, optical channel of the AGM Voyage. That is a 450, 60 yard target. And the pig right down there is like 350, I think. And that's definitely a 350 yard target. And this is the optical day channel again on the AGM Voyage 75. That target right there is 650 yards away, right above the road. And that target right there is 800 yards away. That target right there is 1,350 yards away. So the AGM Voyage 75, it's doing its uh, flat field correction or nuke, non-uniform correction. Uh, this is the night that we were trying to shoot a 16-ounce water bottle. There you go, uh, 700 yards away. So you saw those two little glowing lights. That's the chem lights. That's infrared chem light and a blue chem light, I think. Oh, no, correction. No infrared. The... In color mode, the AGM cannot see infrared. Uh, in color mode, it just sees vis. So there's two water bottles with chem lights in them. You breathe this all on. This is nighttime. Uh, there's no moon out. It was pretty dark. Uh, there's some maybe cows or a rock. I can't really tell. Even though the AGM Voyage 75 has a really high f uh, field of view, high mag base magnification, those are definitely cows out in that field, 487 yards away. Almost 700 yards away. This tree coming up, that's the furthest I've ever arranged something with the AGM, 890 yards. Uh, allegedly, the, they say it's rated up to 1,000 meters. Okay, now we're back to, this is the near IR channel. And my friend Kevin has his, I think, A2 illuminator shining on hoping that it will help illuminate the 22s we're going to lob at this thing so we're back again looking at the AGM Voyage now this is a 100 yard target we're on day channel right now and that's why you can see black uh, now we're switching compound modes that's the, the daytime color mode uh, it's not bad for how dark it is here um, but when you go into the, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you see the moon icon. This is like the nighttime mode. Nighttime mode can see infrared. It's like a Sonic's Aurora, basically. Uh, it's a digital sensor. Now we're looking at my friends 700 yards away. I'm going to digitally zoom in. Uh, they took a side by side out there. That's the laser rangefinder pulse. That big wide beam. That's an infrared laser rangefinder pulse that the digital night vision can see. So you can aim it, even though the aiming reticles, you know, zero to it, but I can see it. You can even do constant ranging. That seems to be what it's doing right now. Now we're back looking at my friends, uh, 700 yards away, now on thermal, and you can see they're setting the water ball. You see, there's a little tiny black dot, oh, flat field correction, little tiny black dot, that is a cold water bottle. That was image fusion mode. So you can kind of see this ghosting a little bit. Uh, from the lights that they're producing. And they get, they're getting back into the side-by-side. -side. And they're driving away. So now with the day channel on, you can see the, the tail lights, right? They're really bright behind the side-by-side. -side. They're driving with night vision, so they don't need headlights. There you go, tail lights. Now we're looking at uh, the shed that's 530 yards away. And this is uh, nighttime. It's like, I think, 1.30 at night, 12.30 at night. Uh, and there's moon out. So this is the day channel in night mode. It's 
look, you can see a lot of detail. Seven hundred yards away. It's like nine hundred yards away, I think. Or no, seven eighty eight. Okay. Yeah, the tree's almost a thousand. I couldn't get a return off that tree. Or the hill. That's like too far. And now here, uh, we'll turn back, look at the shed, and we'll switch to image fusion. I have lens cap on. Uh, but now you can see the thermal has a little bit narrower field of view than the day channel mode. But under image fusion, it, it I think, scales up the, the day channel to overlap the thermal. There's something way out there, probably a cow. But it's too far away, can't see what, can't tell what it is under the thermal. And we're just looking at some birds and a pond. Don't really see them on a day channel. It's definitely see them on the thermal. There's a plane. See the image fusion mode? You can see the faint blinking of the uh, lights on the plane. The beacon on top of that mountain. I wish the image fusion, you could scale back the thermal and or make the, the digital image brighter or show more and have less thermal. Or, and then be able to adjust them on the fly. But you can't. So back again, uh, where I like to test my night vision and thermal. We got a lot more wildlife out here, some birds. And it's overcast, but there's like an almost full moon out. So it's really, really bright. Look how much color and detail you get. Yeah, it's noisy, but this is a hundred, this is one, ignore the clock. This is 1.30 in the morning. And I'm really surprised how well this can see at night. But even the Aurora was, was pretty good at this time of day, or at this time, you know, with this much moon. Like, you can see color. It's really impressive. So, last time I was at the range, uh, I was kind of demoing these binos, and there were some pigs uh, about 480 yards away. Looks like a, maybe a mama pig, daddy pig, and uh, two little baby pigs. But that's someone else's land, so we couldn't shoot them. There you are, it's little baby pigs, right there. Okay, this is a test to see if it's picking up any audio. And the dog is scratching its ear. Yeah, 
you see the curtains through the thermal image? Pure thermal blocks all that. You can't see through curtains. So that's kind of cool.